hi guys welcome to today's session and today we're going to discuss about hcng that is hydrogen enriched compressed natural gas and in this session we will first see what is uh, hcng then we'll discuss what are the advantages of hcng and uh, then we'll discuss uh, what are the disadvantages of uh, using hcng so this is how i plan this lecture let's now start Recently, in a major step towards adopting substitute clean fuel for transportation, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has allowed use of HCNG, which is 18% mix of hydrogen in CNG engines. The Ministry has been notifying various alternate fuels under uh, clean fuels for transportation, and the Bureau of Indian Standards has also developed specifications of hydrogen enriched compressed natural gas for automotive purposes as a fuel. And, um, recently a notification for amendments to central motor vehicles rules 1989 for the inclusion of hcng as an automotive fuel has been published last year by the ministry and uh, we'll now see what is hcng or hydrogen enriched uh, compressed natural gas it is blending of hydrogen with cng provides a blended gas termed as hcng and it uh, combines advantages of both hydrogen and methane and uh, HCNG allows customers early hydrogen deployment with nearly commercial technology. It is being treated as the first step towards future hydrogen economy. And uh, hydrogen has been regarded as a future uh, secondary fuel for the power system due to uh, carbon free operations. And the rapid increase uh, in the emission of greenhouse gases and very strict environmental legislation are major motivating factors for the usage of hydrogen in fuel cells and internal combustion engines and hydrogen is an excellent additive to improve the combustion of hydrocarbon fuel due to its low ignition energy high reactivity diffusivity and burning velocity since hydrogen infrastructure and refueling stations are not meeting the demand the widespread introduction of hydrogen vehicles is not possible in the near future uh, one of the solution for this hurdle is to blend hydrogen with methane. However, uh, HCNG is still under uh, research as it, uh, though it increases fuel efficiency and reduces carbon emission, but it has also led to increase uh, NOx emissions, that is nitrous oxide. Uh, so this is very basic facts about uh, HCNG. Now we will see what are the advantages of using HCNG. First point is uh, HCNG reduces emissions of carbon monoxide up to 70% and it enables up to 5% savings in fuel and it is a first step towards future hydrogen economy. Engines can be calibrated to release lower amount of nitrogen oxides and uh, engines need minimum modification to run on HCNG and uh, it is an ideal fuel uh, for high load applications and heavy duty vehicles and uh, it gives better performance due to high octane rating of h2 so these are the advantages now we will see what are the disadvantages of using hcng determining the most optimized h2 ng ratio is a disadvantage and also this requires new infrastructures for preparing uh, hcng and many steps uh, need to be taken for commercializing it at large scale and the current cost of h2 is more than cost of natural gas so hcng's cost is uh, more than cng which is also a uh, limiting factor uh, so these are the major disadvantages uh, in using hcng uh, as we all know crude oil is a non-renewable source of energy and causes pollution and so the alternative and cleaner fuels like HCNG, CNG, LPG, alcohol fuels, electricity and biofuels are being explored. Electricity can be generated by sources like nuclear energy, wind power, solar energy, etc. as cleaner options. Uh, but due to issues like climate change and um, estimations that uh, non-renewable fuels like crude oil will get as host in the near future, exploring uh, new fuels like HCNG is a welcome step. Uh, thus, the government shall now take step uh, so that alternative fuels can be commercialized by putting required efforts. So, uh, this is all about HCNG guys. It's a developing topic. Uh, you can expect questions regarding this in the coming years in UPSC. 
so please study about this uh, please study about this in detail also uh, so that's it we'll meet tomorrow with another topic thank you for watching this lesson